Pedagogy of Physical Science, B.A. Syllabus, Second Semester. The question can be asked as, write a short note on active learning strategies or it can be also asked as, explain some active learning strategies or techniques in teaching science. Active learning is a student-centered approach in which the responsibility for learning is placed upon the student often working in collaboration with classmates. In active learning, teachers are facilitators rather than one-way providers of information. The presentation of facts, so often introduced through straight lecture, is de-emphasized in favor of class discussion, problem solving, cooperative learning, and writing exercises. Other examples of active learning techniques include role-playing, case studies, group projects, think, pair, share, peer teaching, debates, just-in-time teaching, and short demonstrations followed by class discussions. There are two easy ways to promote active learning through the discussion. The first method is the mini lecture format in which the instructor talks 10 to 20 minutes about a particular topic and then pauses for students to consolidate their notes, find gaps and work with classmates to fill in gaps. The second technique is an active listening lecture where students just listen to a lecture without writing notes and then after 10 to 20 minutes, the student works with a classmate or small group to recall, clarify and elaborate on the lecture's content. Here are some of the examples of active learning techniques. First, think, pair, share. Students ponder the answer to a question and then share their thoughts with a neighbor. Next, role playing. Each student takes the role of a person affected by an earth science issue such as a volcano or a polluted lake and studies the impacts of earth science issues on human life or the effects of human activities on the world around us from the perspective of that person. Discovering Plate Boundaries this is a group discussion method employing many aspects of cooperative learning. In the example cited here, students use the jigsaw technique to use or to learn more about plate tectonics. Peer review. Students review and comment on materials written by their classmates. We also call this as giving a feedback. Discussion. Promoting a successful discussion depends on correctly framing questions. The more interesting are the questions, the more successful will be the discussion. Problem solving using real data. Students use a variety of data to explore scientific questions, which helps them to solve the problems with more interest and accurateness. Just in time teaching. Students read assigned material outside of class, respond to short questions online, then participate in collaborative exercises the following class period. Game-based learning uses competitive exercises either putting the students against each other or through computer simulations.